This video shows how to draw flowcharts with WinAD from Excel software. A flowchart is the newest addition to the dozens of software design diagrams currently supported by WinAD. A flowchart consists of nodes and lines that illustrate how a process or algorithm works. We'll start by either creating a new project where we can give the project a name, the type of documents what we want to include, perhaps a data dictionary, a state model document, which is the kind of document type in which a flowchart is stored and we'll select the, uh, the type of uh, method that we want to use in this case flowchart. Alternatively, if we want to just create a simple flowchart document without uh, the other project documents, we can do that by just clicking new state model document and give the first chart name, we'll call it chart one, and initially it comes up with a state document having two different uh, windows, a table window and a diagram window, but since we're going to only be using the diagram window, we'll open up the document defaults and select diagram window only, and the method we want to use is flowchart. And now we have a window uh, that's set up and ready to go for start drawing our flowchart. WinAD has a lot of options to customize the operation of the tool. One of those options you'll find handy when drawing flowcharts is on the advanced panel of the preferences dialog. You can set it up so that when you double click on a diagram object, it actually presents the properties dialog of that object. And you'll see how that works just a bit. To locate information about drawing flowcharts in the user's guide, just go to documents and guides and go to the modeling guide. Then you'll uh, go to your bookmark section, go to state models, and scroll down until you see flowcharts. There's also integrated online help that you can present by pressing the F1 key whenever positioned over a window or a dialog. Let's take a look at some existing flowcharts by opening up one of the sample projects that comes with WinAD. Here we see we have a state document that consists of four flowchart diagrams and we can scroll up and down the diagrams or flip to different diagrams in the index over here, table of contents, to see a specific diagram. Flowcharts consists of nodes and lines. Each node on the document is cr created with the state tool and each connecting line is created with the transition tool. If we double click on one of the nodes of the diagram with the selection tool, will uh, be presented with the properties dialog. That's where we can define what kind of node it is using common flowcharting symbology. Uh, we can define the color scheme of the borders and the fill color if there is one, shadows and border types, uh, the placement of text, and give some text to that actual node. If we want there to be an icon presented within the node, click on the icon button and you have various kinds of pixel or picture icons. These are some of the picture icons that are currently being used within this document. If we wanted to add some additional ones, we'll just click the new button and select a file on disk, either a bitmap, JPEG, or GIF file. WinAD comes with a whole folder of icons that you can select from. In this case, uh, let's just see what would happen uh, if we uh, added this particular uh, icon. And now we can see that icon has been added to the icon manager and can be used throughout all the diagrams within this document. Or if we wanted to delete a particular icon from the icon manager, we can just click the delete button. So we'll go back to the original icon and click OK. And all the properties we've selected are now reflected within that object. You'll add nodes with the state tool or draw arrowed lines between them with the transition tool. To add a new node, just click on the diagram and define the properties. Or you can clone the properties of an existing node that you have already added. That's a lot quicker. So we'll just uh, give it a name and we are going to clone the properties of the validate order node. And when we do that, we see we have our new node with all the same properties. Drawing flowcharts is very similar to drawing other types of diagrams. You can move objects around on the screen, you can resize them. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to change the color of the object, you can do so just by clicking up here. If you want to uh, delete an object, uh, select it and click the delete button. Uh, if you add, need to add additional diagrams, click the button and uh, give it a name, or if you wanted to delete a particular diagram from the document, uh, just select and delete it. If a particular 
diagram is complete. You want to freeze it, just lock it, and then uh, you can't edit that particular diagram anymore. But if you go to other diagrams, uh, they'll still be unlocked and you can still edit move those objects around. Like all diagram types in Win and d you can scale flow charts, you can print them to paper, you can uh, select an object on a diagram and link it to foreign documents uh, with the document links command. For example, you might want to link an object to a, a Microsoft Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, or some other type of document and then have easy navigation. You can also link flow charts with other types of documents within Win and d If we uh, select the objects on a diagram and copy it to the clipboard, we can then paste it into another application or we can generate an image file from the clipboard in various formats or an image file directly from a particular diagram itself. In this case, if we wanted to generate an image file of everything we've copied into the clipboard, we select the format and give the name to the document and we'll get the uh, image output to that file name.